Hello CIE scholars Let us look at English lesson 7 Grandpa Farooq's garden In this video we will look at the question answers true or false and did you know section from the student book So let's get started Answer these questions First Where was Grandpa Farooq's garden? The answer is Grandpa Farooq's garden was deep in the city surrounded by houses and bricks and tar. If you see the form of verb in the question is was and we have kept the same in the answer. Question 2 How did Amir help grandpa in the garden amir helped grandpa water the plants and with the compost here in the question we have the verbs did help so in the answer we have made it helped question 3 why didn't grandpa eat the pear Grandpa didn't eat the pear because he was sad about the dying garden. In the question we have didn't eat, we have kept it as it is in the answer as well. Plus we have added one more verb which is was as didn't eat means did not eat. Did is a form of verb which is in past tense. That's why we used was He was sad about the dying garden. Question 4. What was the answer to the problem? Having ladybirds was the answer to the problem. Here again, both in the question as well as in the answer, the verb remains same that is was. Now let's move on to true or false. State whether the following are true or false. First, Grandpa was sad for the lady birds. Is it true? No, it's false. Grandpa was sad for his dying garden. Right? Second, Amir helped Grandpa in the garden. Yes, that's true. Third, Amir went to Grandpa Farooq's garden daily. No, he did not go to the garden daily. He went to the garden once a week. Right? Fourth, the ladybirds ate pests in the garden. Yes, that's true. That is the reason. why grandpa farooq wanted ladybirds in the garden right fifth grandpa's garden blossomed because of the pests no not at all grandpa's garden blossomed because of the ladybirds because they ate up the pests right now let us move on to the did you know section from the student book did you know trees clean up the air some trees can live for thousands of years have you seen any tree which has lived for so long have you come across one well do you know which tree is it its name is methusela and this tree is supposed to be the oldest tree in the whole world It is four thousand eight hundred and fifty-two years old. Can you imagine? With this, we have reached the end of today's video. The tasks for the day are: write down question answers in the notebook. Write down true or false in the notebook. and keep learning